Hi, I'm Nicholas Burtner with School of Permaculture, and guys, I got a great tip for you today. We're back in the backyard of our suburban site at our furthest in the property IBC totes that we harvest water from the roof from. So when we, and we've done it ourselves, typically when you're recommended when to clean out a first flush system, and if you haven't, uh, if you don't know what a first flush system is, we'll put a link in the show notes, but, or you can go to schoolofpermaculture.com, type in first flush, and watch the videos that explain what a first flush system does. It pretty much gets the dirty water off of the roof. You could use something like a toilet bowl float. It caps it off here. The clean water then goes into the tank. Really excellent device, really simple, doesn't cost a lot of money and no moving parts. So we would recommend that if we come down here and take a look, you would put a cap on and you would either put a small hole in the cap or you would tighten it just enough to where um, it would fill up faster than it would, would release. And this was great. Well, about a you know, little under a year ago, I was hanging out with Brad Lancaster over at his house, and he was taking us on a tour of his amazing property. And when we got to his first flush system, which is set up very similar, he said he recommended that you first flush every time it rains. And I thought, man, that's a bunch of maintenance. I'll never do that. Well, uh, lo and behold, Brad Kent Lancaster, you were totally right. He's totally right. I used to have these IBC totes wrapped with uh, a plastic liner. It looked really nice, but since these are facing east and south, they would always get hit with the sun and they end up, the UV kind of deteriorates it and they were flaking off all over the backyard food forest garden. So I went ahead and took them off and when I did, I found, and you can still see some of the stains here, but the inside was full of gum, full of algae, full of this black, almost tar looking stuff, because these threads end up getting gummed up and it held just an inoculum of residual dirty anaerobic water that every time it rained, it would just put it back and back into this tank. So it took us a few years to find it. We found it, got that gunk off, composted it, and we moved on, but it did just rain. So let's go ahead and do it now. And you can design it even better. This one, we have a passion flower here, but you had a little reservoir, maybe some water chestnut, a tiny little uh, basin. And um, uh, all this excess water can be used every time it rains. So you may want to come in here with your hand, get a little bit of that grid out. put the lid back on and you you flush it out so guys that's our tip of the day make sure to check out school of permaculture.com uh, go check out the first flush video come take a course from us hire a consultant know that your proceeds go to our aid and our orphanage program you guys rock I love you and we'll see you next time Todd Feltner.